Hello everyone, my name is Anna. I'm a retired educator and I taught school for 25 years. Now I just like to work on lessons for my grandson, lessons that are fun, lessons that are inspiring. So I would like to share some of these lessons with you if you have a toddler. My lessons are geared for children that are about two to five years old. I hope that you enjoy the activities I have for you. And if you like them, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give it a like. This first activity is a matching activity. I'm using a card, this card from this recycled bingo game. It's missing some pieces, but I can still use the card and some of the little cards that come with this. So this is what we're going to use for our matching activity. Horse? Where does the horse go? Right there. What about the cow? Can you tell me where the cow goes? Yeah. Good job. What about the barn? Here. Good job. What about the hen? Here. Good job. What's this? Sheep. Sheep? Pig. Pig. Duck. Duck. And goat. Good job. You did great. This next activity is a number quantity activity and I'm using a printable. This is a free printable from the internet and I just put how many spots. For the spots I'm using some pom-poms and we're going to use some magnetic numbers. This next activity is a literacy activity. I'm using this book. It's John Deere Farm ABC book. We're going to be looking at beginning letter sounds. We're going to use some magnetic letters and we're also going to use some of the pictures for matching. This next activity is a number quantity activity and a number recognition activity. I'm going to be using some of these little cheekies. It's a package of 10. I got these at Dollar Tree and I really like them because they come with a little pattern. You can always make some more later. I'm also using magnetic numbers and I'm using some cereal for my manipulatives. I'm using corn pops.
this next activity is a matching activity. I'm going to be using this counting cows. This is from learning resources. And for today's lesson, I am only going to use four of the little cows. What we're going to do is try to get our child to match the one with the little one heart. And they're just gonna put it together. For this next activity, we're going to use some plastic eggs. I have this box and I just put some of this paper. I got a printable from the internet. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have our toddler gather eggs into a basket. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to sort our eggs by color. So orange eggs on one side and yellow eggs on the other side. For this next activity, we're going to be using this box. It's a shoe box and I just cut here. I put some Velcro here so that we can sort our animals. We're going to put two legs, animals that have two legs here, animals that have four legs over here. So I printed some cards from the internet. So what we're going to do is look at the picture and this is a little chick. How many legs? Two legs. So we would put it here. Cow, that has four legs. And so on. They would do all of the cards. Now, I like the idea of reusing this box for other lessons. So what I did in the back, I just put an envelope so I can put other cards. So next time, if I want to do an activity where we're going to be sorting colors, we can do that. Or we can do Sioux animals and farm animals. So that way we can use the box over and over again.
this next activity is a vocabulary building activity. I'm going to be using this Brain Quest. I really like these. You can go to the section visiting the farm and it has some questions that we can ask our toddler. Like, what is this place called? It's the farm. What animal is this? And so on. I really, really like these cards. This helps your child acquire new vocabulary. It is a great idea to have lots of books available. Like today we talked about the farm. So have books. Toddlers love the Lift the Flap books. These are excellent books for them. And they're just a perfect size for them. Maybe some books like this. I like the one with the realistic pictures. These are really, really nice. This is for coloring. This is an excellent book too. I love these pictures. And then this book, I like that it makes the sound. It's really, really cute. Learning should always be fun. Another activity that you can do with your toddler is have him play with Legos. The Duplo Legos are perfect for their little hands. I like this set. This is the Duplo Farm set. It comes with little animals, the little cow, the little pig. It has a little cat. There's also this little book and you can have your toddler look in here, see if he can make some of the animals with some of the Duplo Legos that he already has. I hope you enjoyed the activities I had for you today. I hope you will be able to use some of them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.